One thing that you must be proficient at at this stage is being able to factorise quadratics, uh, especially examples where the coefficient of the x squared, the number from the x squared is 1. So basic quadratics like this. So what you're trying to do here is you're trying to find two numbers that multiply together to make the number on the end, the constant term, the plus 6, but add together to make the coefficient of x, in this case 5. So in other words, two numbers that multiply together to make 6, but add together to make 5. Okay. Now, the only numbers that can do that are 2 and 3. So we'd have to have 2 times 3 is 6, and 2 plus 3 is 5. So what that tells you is that we must have x plus 2 and x plus 3 inside the bracket. And we can always double check because we can expand the double brackets. x squared, 3x and 2x make 5x and 2 times 3 is 6, which gets, to, gets me to what we have there. So let's have a look at number 2. So this time we're trying to find two numbers that multiply together to make minus 8, but add together to make 2. OK? So what you can do here is you can kind of go through uh, different examples of what you could multiply to get minus 8. Um, one example would be uh, minus 4 and 2, but they don't add together to make 2. They add together to make minus 2. So if we had 4 and minus 2, then they certainly multiply to make minus 8, and they add together to make 2. So 4 and minus 2 works. So we'd have to have x plus 4 and x minus 2. And of course, we can double check x squared 4x, take away 2x, gets me the 2x, and 4 terms minus 2 gets me the minus 8. So for number 3, two numbers that multiply together to make 21, but add together to make minus 10. And that would have to be minus 7 and minus 3. So minus 7 and minus 3 multiply to make 21, but add together to make minus 10, OK? So we would have x minus 7 and x minus 3 inside the bracket. x squared minus 7x minus 3x makes the minus 10x, and minus 7 times minus 3 makes the plus 21. And so for the last one, we've got two numbers that multiply together to make minus 40, but add together to make minus 3. OK, so in this case, we would have to have minus 8 and uh, plus 5. So minus 8 times 5 will get me the minus 40. Minus 8 plus 5 gets me the minus 3. So we'd have to have x minus 8, x plus 5 as our brackets. OK, so these cases of factorising quadratics where the coefficient of x squared is 1, um, is part of the bread and butter, really, of getting through A-level maths. Okay, So it's definitely something that you need to be proficient in.